Mike Zuzlo at Global Commodity Analytics in Atchison, Kansas with your November 1st weekly grain update. Rally continues in grains as the domestic meal market here in the United States has found it difficult to source beans and to source rail cars for meal, even with record large harvests still expected by the trade. The result of tighter bean supplies than expected, plus questions continuing to linger about the transportation uh, to move the soybeans and the meal, has made and allowed the market to make a new seven-week high in the soy meal complex. Adding to the strength, fundamentally, in my opinion, has been lighter than uh, forecasted rains in Monte Grosso, Brazil, and adding to the strength from an investment standpoint has been the weaker dollar trade. The strong chart technicals also providing some extra support. Corn and wheat have willingly followed this market rally in the soy meal, as the whole grain complex has found the bid under the market, and speculators have found a significant amount of need to short cover their positions and flatten up their positions, as uh, the margin calls are reportedly getting pretty big at this point. Corn and uh, putting this all aside for a minute, I think we have to ask the question, doesn't this rally appear to be similar to a demand rationing rally? In other words, let's cut off the export demand and let's try and get the domestic crusher to improve his bid stump. Exporters have, I think, started to walk away from the export market for beans and meal at this stage of the game. And the weekly export sales on Thursday morning suggested that when it comes to the meal market. Crush margins are running about $2 a bushel at this stage of the game. That's extremely profitable for the domestic crusher. And so I suspect here again, we will see some beans moving into the channel uh, for the crusher in the domestic market here in the United States. So what I'm getting at here is other than the weather market and the currencies, uh, you've got a situation where you've probably satisfied the need to ration demand. I'm assuming at this point that export demand is going to continue to be rationed because we've gone higher again this week uh, quite substantially. With that in mind, there's probably three things to watch the next week. Currencies, northern Brazil weather, and the November bean futures delivery, which starts at the end of this week. I see these factors as having to, quote, feed the bull uh, in the meal market, especially if we're going to go above $400 in a substantial and meaningful way. Until next time, this is Mike Suzalo.